Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I feel like this is going to be very helpful. My goal is to keep this video as real and honest as possible. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what my kids eat in a day. Obviously, every day is very different. So for those of you guys who are new here, I have two kids. My son, his name is Knox. He is almost two and a half. And then my daughter, Elodie, is eight months old. So Knox is obviously at an age where he can pretty much eat anything. So his diet is a little bit all over the place. He does love like toddler food and, you know, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets and things like that. But then he also likes salmon and broccoli. Um, and there are some healthier things that he does like. Um, some days it seems like all he eats is junk food. He doesn't want to eat any like... I say junk food, like, I mean, dry cereal, um, no graham crackers, goldfish, and things like that. But then there's other days where he'll eat, like, a bunch of meals, and it seems very successful as far as eating goes. So if you have a toddler, you know that nothing is ever promised. And everything is really on a day-by-day, case-by-case basis. So that is pretty much how we treat his eating and his food. I will say with Knox, he has not always been the best eater. We really have to be careful with how many snacks we give him throughout the day. Otherwise, he's not going to eat. Um, and he is decently, I don't want to say picky because I don't know if that's it because he's two and a half. Um, we are just trying to expand his palate because he generally goes with like his comfort foods and the things that he likes to eat. So with Knox, I tried to film like how much food I gave him and then what was left over just so you guys could actually get a feel of what he was actually eating and I felt like that would be helpful so I hope you guys enjoy that part the food looks kind of disgusting <laughs> after like showing you guys what was left over every time I filmed it I was like this doesn't even feel right but anyway so that's a little bit about Knox and his diet and then with Elle where she is eight months old we actually did baby led weaning which is the same thing that we did with Knox we started Knox on food around four months he seemed very ready his pediatrician thought that he was ready as well and same thing with Elle this time around. She was about two weeks after Knox. Like, I feel like Knox was, like, ready right at four months. He was, like, watching us eat. He was reaching for our food, stuff like that. And with Elle, um, I feel like she was, like, in between four and five months that she seemed really, really ready. So with baby lead weaning, essentially, you're just giving them, like, whole fruits and vegetables or, you know, real food, but in a form that they are able to kind of mush up and swallow. So that would be like steamed broccoli or um, sliced banana, sliced avocado. Those are the things that we kind of started with, things that kind of get soft, but they can still like pick it up and kind of eat it that way um, without like mashing it, chopping it or blending it up. So the only thing that I really mash up is sometimes I'll take like some banana and smash it up just so that it's like easy to spoon feed her. But a lot of times I'll just slice it up and give it to her. She eats pasta, toast, um, veggies, fruits, yogurt. She loves like yogurt pops frozen in the fridge. Those are like one of her favorite things. She loves like soup. Anytime I make like homemade chicken noodle soup, she will eat an adult sized bowl. Like it is wild. Kyle was feeding her a bowl the other night and he's like, is this even okay for her to be eating this much? And I'm like, yeah, she definitely, she'll turn her head and stuff. You know, when she's done, she does it to me all the time. She definitely um, has an appetite. She is an eater. She loves food. She could eat all day every day. She loves to have a snack in her hand. Um, she also eats crackers, graham crackers. Um, she just kind of like chews it and sucks on it and works it until it um, dissolves and she's able to swallow it. So I don't let her have anything like that obviously unattended. I don't let her eat at all unattended. Um, I do think that's important with baby led weaning especially just because it would be easy to like put the food in front of them and then walk away to go like do the dishes or something. I definitely feel like I need to be very attentive when she is eating, so for obvious reasons. So, so that is a little bit of background. That is just what works for us. If you blend up your baby's food and whatnot, good for you. That is a lot of dedication, a lot of time that you are putting into that. There's no shame if that's what you feel comfortable with. There's no right or wrong. It's just this is what worked for us. This worked for Knox, our first child, so we absolutely wanted to do it with our second and so on. So with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Comment down below if you like videos like this and let's jump right in. All right, starting with breakfast. So this morning Knox asked for waffles. This is one of his favorites. So we just get the Eggos waffles. I usually let him pick them out himself and these are the ones he picked this week. So they actually like them frozen. Sissy would eat them like in any way, shape or form, but Knox always likes his frozen. So I just slice Sissy's up as well and I figure it makes a good tea there for her if hers are frozen as well. And it probably feels really good on her gums. So it's also really easy on me. That's all I do. I throw um, the other half of Sissy's back in the box for another time. 
And then I always try to include some fruit, especially with breakfast. I just feel like that's like an easy opportunity to get some fruit in. With sissies, I just kind of squish them up with my finger. You can cut them in half as well, but this just makes it um, easier for her to kind of mush up and less of a choking hazard. And then for Knox, I'm giving him a little bit of egg. Sometimes I give sissy some egg too. Um, but this morning I decided to give her some cottage cheese. This is one of her favorites. She will like literally eat an entire container of cottage cheese if I let her. So <laughs> obviously you can see she's super interested in what we are having. She's checking out the cottage cheese here. And yeah, I just, I could watch her eat all day. I love this age, it's so fun. But she's so good with her hands and getting things into her mouth. And she's just very independent. Um, and I really think that baby led weaning does help with that. And it also, you know, helps them build self-confidence and whatnot, so. So right here, this is kind of how she tells me she's done. Um, we are working on sign language for all done, but she kind of just <laughs> turns her head and usually makes some type of a funny face. But anytime she has solids throughout the day, I do give her water through a little sippy cup. These are the Boon bottles. They come um, with like a nipple top and you can also order the sippy tops too. So it's just one bottle with multiple um, nipples that you can put onto it so I'll link those down below but this is Knox's breakfast like I said the waffle some eggs and some fruit on the side Knox is in a very independent stage right now so everything is a little bit of a struggle and a wait so I told him breakfast was ready and of course he had to find something he had to do first but letting the dog in was actually super helpful so He's hopping up to have his breakfast. This is give or take. Sometimes he stares at his plate and says no thank you and gets down and doesn't take a single bite and other times he eats pretty well, which he did this day. So he ate almost all of his eggs and about half of his uh, frozen waffle and I don't think he had a single blueberry. So that is what his plate looked like when he was done. Um, but he did decide to have an applesauce, which I was fine with. That kind of replaced his fruit serving. Um, and this is what Sissy's plate looked like afterwards. She doesn't really leave much behind. Um, and then right around nine o'clock, Sissy always goes down for her first nap. Um, by the way, breakfast is usually around seven um, and I nurse her right before her nap. So I'm not gonna film every time I nurse her. I just wanted to include it in this video. I will mention when I do nurse her, but um, yeah. And then Knox right around 10 o'clock usually has a snack. So he picked out a frozen go-gurt. This is the Stonyfield Organic Kids Yogurt. They're really, actually really good. And he also wanted some potato chips with guacamole. So I had some fresh avocados that I cut up and I like to put Greek yogurt in our guacamole. So I'm just kind of smashing it all up. I'll let you guys just kind of watch, but I just use a plain Greek yogurt, some squeeze of lime, and I season up with salt and pepper, garlic powder, kind of whatever you like and Knox really really enjoys it. I find this is a great uh, snack for him. It adds you know a lot more nutrition than just chips um, which sometimes he just wants chips too but yeah add some nutrition and fat to his diet which he needs so that is our little snack and I usually share with him too. So since Knox's diet is really give or take lately, we started him on these Smarty Pants toddler uh, vitamins and I really think we've seen positive benefits to this. I just feel like he has been sleeping better, he, his mood has been better, um, his coping skills have been better. So I don't know if it's just a coincidence, you know how kids go through phases, it may have just kind of timed up right, but 
I do feel like when kids are getting, you know, the nutrition and things they need, they're obviously likely to function better. So <laughs> you can see he enjoys taking these and I figure it can't hurt. So for lunch, Knox asked for some yogurt and granola. This has been like a newer snack or lunch choice that he has really been enjoying lately. So this is the yogurt and granola I use. Um, and then he also wanted a hot dog. I usually get the grass-fed beef hot dogs, but this is all they had, so I got the turkey ones. Um, and then while I'm cooking lunch, I give them both a handful of veggie sticks to enjoy, and that's actually one of Sissy's favorite snacks. Um, I also gave Knox half a banana, which he was not impressed with. He wanted it off his plate immediately. For some reason, he will only eat like a whole banana. He doesn't want it sliced in half, but he never finishes it. So I feel like the other half goes to waste unless I feed it to Sissy. So anyway, <laughs> Elle is getting up from her nap and she's just having some leftover uh, guacamole from Knox and I's snack. And like I said, some veggie sticks as well. And Knox actually was not feeling his lunch at all he did not want to eat and I told him that sissy and I were going to have a picnic on the floor if he wanted to join us and I think because that is just something different he got a little bit excited to sit and eat with us so he did eventually sit down and have a few bites but it was still a struggle so in a second you'll see him riding his bike and he comes over and I pretend that I work at an ice cream shop I ask him what flavor he would like and he orders a flavor of ice cream and takes a bite of yogurt as his order, if that makes sense. So it's one way to get him to eat and he'll come back for multiple bites, like eight to 10 bites that he probably would not have taken otherwise. So we're just kind of like role playing and it makes it fun for him. Honestly, whatever you gotta do to get your kid to eat, I think, you know, just make it work, make it fun, keep it interesting. And yeah, so. This is what his plate looked like after we were done, and Sissy did have some of his yogurt as well. And then right before they go down for their nap together, this is right around 12.30, um, Knox asked for a milk. He doesn't always get a milk, but um, sometimes he drinks it in the morning, sometimes he drinks it in the afternoon, and this day he just had it right as he was going down for his nap, and he has also been napping on the couch. So this is when I will go nurse Sissy and put her down, and then when they both get up, it is snack time again. So. I cut up some grapes for Elle and I slice them lengthwise and then multiple times widthwise so they're in these like little tiny triangle shapes. It's supposed to um, make it so that they're less of a choking hazard. This I understand is like one of the top foods that kids choke on so I'm super duper attentive when she eats them and like I said I do slice them in that like specific way. Uh, she also had a cheese stick and then Knox decided to have a couple graham crackers which apparently he had taken a bite of and put back in the container <laughs> at some point. Um, and then for dinner, we eat dinner around 5.30. I took some homemade soup and I'm just smashing it up for Elodie. I don't always smash it up like this, but I will link this little tool down below. It's actually for hamburger or for like ground meat and it chops it up, but I use it for like so many different things. I think it is like a kitchen must have. So it's really nice if she wants like mac and cheese or something like that. Um, I mean, she eats the whole noodle and that's fine, but it is easier for her to chew it and whatnot if I smash it up. So once in a while I'll do that for her and it makes it really easy on me. And I would definitely recommend that if you are gonna start your baby on some real food, this kind of turns soup into baby food without having to like puree it or whatnot. So. I feel like it helps get them used to textures and all of that. And after dinner around 6.30 is when I nurse her, by the way. I will leave all the timestamps down below so it's like more clear. I'll put our whole like daily eating schedule down below um, if that's helpful. But Knox chose to have some adamame and some um, air fried chicken, which is what we were having for dinner. And I offered him some rice or pasta and he didn't feel like it this night. so. Yeah, he generally will eat whatever we're eating that night. Sometimes he doesn't like what we're having and I'll offer something else, but um, he did pretty well on his veggie and chicken, so I was happy with that. And then around 6.30, he always asks for a snack after tubby time, and tonight he picked out this Wyman's. It's like a fruit and Greek yogurt dip and dot kind of dessert, so he really likes these, and yeah. So that is definitely it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and again found it helpful. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below on your kid's favorite snack and your kid's favorite meal just so we can kind of have those in the comment and bounce ideas off of each other and maybe um, get some like new fresh ideas to try with our children. I feel like that would be really nice. So comment those down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.